colaboración con muchas otras personas, pidiendo esto, ¿no? pidiendo que nos ayuden a hacer una voz para todo el país uh, y que aunque estamos aquí en Grand Rapids también tenemos voz y necesitamos salir para expresar. ¿no? Es que muchísimas sí. gracias, Cintia. Bueno, aquí les hemos dado la bienvenida que vengan a apoyar esta este, marcha. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué apoyas esta marcha? ¿Por qué apoyas esta manifestación? ¿Por qué la apoyo? Porque en primera soy inmigrante. Uh, también llegué a este país un día sin documentos. Um, y ahora por las posibilidades que yo tuve, pude obtener una maestría y atender la universidad. Y pienso que todos debemos de tener ese derecho. ¿Cómo te llamas? Cintia Quintana. ¿Y qué piensas del decreto presidencial de Donald Trump que excluye, bueno, que está pidiendo que deporten a millones de indocumentados aquí en los Estados Unidos. Eso obviamente estoy completamente en desacuerdo. Eso ocasionaría en primero que perdamos, la, la economía va a perder, es más importante nuestras familias, que la separación de familia no debería de ser una opción para nadie de que estén separando a las familias que están viviendo bien, que tienen necesidad de estar aquí o por puro gusto porque en sus países hay mucha delincuencia, pobreza, uh, acosaciones, entonces pienso que, que es una terrible idea. Bueno, well, now we're going to help uh, hear John who speaks only English. Uh, what do you want to ask him, uh, John to? Your feeling of your sign, people united, we will never be divided. Well, you understand, right? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what is my feeling of this? Sign? Yeah, okay, I thought, okay. It's Way okay. to set me up for this one, Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had to go through translators. <laughs> so you can ask me whatever. Okay, so let me do that. Let me do this interview. <laughs> All right. Can I have your name? Cynthia Quintana. Can you spell that for me? C-Y-N-T-H-I-A-Q-U-I-N-T-A-N-A. -A -A. And Cynthia, why are you here today? I am here because I think that we, well this is a march for dignity and respect, which is what we're asking for. We want to be treated with dignity and respect. Um, we are human beings and I think we deserve that as well, just like anybody else in this country, regardless of their socioeconomic status, race, gender, um, and that's why I'm here today. And what is your opinion of the Trump presidency so far? Uh, <laughs> I am very upset. Um, I don't agree with many things that he's doing, especially with the family separation. Um, I think that is one of the most horrific ideas ever. Um, so many children living in fear. I lived in fear once when I was here undocumented. I know the feeling. And it, you can't, as a child, you cannot concentrate on things that a child should be doing for worrying for their parents. Now, you're from Grand Rapids now, but where are you originally from? Mexico. Thank you. All right. Else, Thank you very much. You want to add? Um, I just want to add that if you are interested in supporting us and joining this fight, this march, um, that you come and join us. Um, we obviously need people from all different backgrounds to join us that think as the same as we do and believe the same as we do. How long have you been in the United States? I have been here for 25 years. And you're, you're documented now? I am documented and now I have a master's degree in social work. From where? From Grand Valley State University. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Go Lakers. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Este fue Pablo Bello para Tiempo Latino.